Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. I don't know why I had so many problems trying to edit this video. Wow, it definitely took me a short minute. Anyway, Amazonia Maze is where we are to get into this place. You've got to be level 68. Now, I started from level 70 because the old level max, the old max level cap used to be level 70. Now it is level 80. So I'm going to show you the grind for me, obviously from level 70 to level 75. But you could do this from level 68 because that's what level you can you can be to get into Amazonia Maze. So from level 68 to level 75, you could grind it out here until you get to Congo River, which is where I've been waiting to get to. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> when there is updates on this game, I always do live stream that with the face cam and mic. I always show new hotspots, let you know about updates that are coming. And of course, I always show you how and where to catch those new fish, completing all the missions. We do have a playlist of Just Fishing Planet, so if you're stuck on anything at all, you could look in there and I'm pretty sure you will find it. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future updates. And uh, obviously, tips and tricks can give you a better reason to subscribe. Other than that, don't forget to drop a like. And of course, if you've got any comments, do leave it in the comment section below. I do try my best to respond back to every single comment. Don't take it personally if I don't respond to you. It just sometimes it is hard for me to try and message back everyone because, of course, I do have over a thousand videos on YouTube and it's hard to try and message back to everyone. But anyway, for that one fish there, the Arapaima, 23,400 XP. There's level 71. So, of course, I've made lots of edits into this video, chopped it all up and just showed you the best parts of, obviously, me leveling up. But... To get uniques in this place, you can get uniques at a pretty fast pace, if I'm honest. This is, yeah, from level 68 to level 75 until you're able to get into Conga River. This is definitely the location and definitely the spot to fish. Now, of course, I am going to show you my rod setups. And when I hit level 74, I did buy the new be uh, bottom rod. When you get to level 76, you can buy the very best bottom rod, which, again, all of those we've made videos on. I always use max drag, so the setup that you see there with my rod setup, that's max drag. Of course, you don't have to use the same setup as me, but as long as you're using the same hooks, the same bait, and of course, always fishing the same location, you will catch, and as you see what I'm doing, the same will happen for you guys. You can catch these Arapaima in all different places in this place, and of course, you can catch them in the day and of course in the night like we are here, but I always fish nighttime. I feel like I catch more uniques in the night, and I did actually catch a serious amount of uniques by doing this, and I definitely, definitely got a serious amount of money as well. So, um, yeah, it was it was pretty good fishing this location. My biggest thing was to hurry to try to get to to Conga River because you guys keep on asking when am I going to do a live stream on Conga River. Now I have done it before on PC, of course, but I haven't done it on PS4. So this is how I'm doing this. Of course, when all the updates come out, I always buy that on PC first. So that way you guys get to see it before it hits the consoles and I manage to do all the hotspots and stuff. So as soon as it, the update actually drops on console, you guys can have a whale of a time and uh, you can catch those fish very easy. And you know where all the hotspots are because I've already made those videos. So for the PS4, that's what I'm on right now. I'm on PS4 and... Um, yeah, I wanted to get the grind going on PS4. I never bothered to buy the DLC for the PS4. I like to grind it out just to show you guys that, um, of course, as well as buying the DLC, which is a very good DLC, definitely recommend it. Not sponsored, but just recommend it. But if you're not able to buy the DLC, to buy premium is a very fast way to level up. Now, again, if you don't have money for premium or you can't buy premium, and then the next best thing after that is barbless hooks. Now, they don't cost any real money they cost in game cash so you can buy those barbless hooks will always give you i thought it was 10 percent extra xp but some people say it's 20 but whatever it is it gives you more xp so for that one 23,777 that's with the barbless hook and of course that is with premium there's me hitting level 72 yeah if you don't have premium as you can see at the top there i've got premium but if you don't have premium it's okay as long as you're using a barbless hook it's going to take a little bit longer of course it's definitely going to take a bit longer but not impossible now for me it's always a race in a way it's always a race for me to try and get get to the max level fast and it's always a race for me to do all the missions first and that's because of course i'm trying to put that content out there as quick as i possibly can so for me, I do end up, uh, when those DLCs drop for the new lakes, obviously they always drop on PC first. And when they do, 
I'm always, yeah, I stay awake. I don't sleep. <laughs> For real, I'm not even joking. I play this game nearly 24 hours, or at least I've played it more than 20, 24 hours before. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great game. I've been playing it for an insane amount of years now. And I, I just still don't get bored of it because the updates, they keep on dropping updates on the game. And by far, this is, in my honest opinion, probably the best fishing game I've ever played. I say probably it is the best fishing game I've ever played. I've played many different fishing games. And of course, we have many different fishing games on the channel. Loads of other types of games and electric bikes, scooters and other random things. But yeah, Fishing Planet is a game that I will always play. And a game that I always put many hours in. I, I, uh, yeah, this <laughs> this is the biggest grind um, for me. Obviously, it's a little bit harder the grind compared to you guys because I got to hit max level on PC and then I've got to hit max level on PS4. So I'm playing two accounts. You are allowed to play two accounts because they are classed as different servers. Um, maybe in the future they might do it so it's cross platform, which would be absolutely awesome if it was like that because. Of course, I play on PS4 and I play on the PC, whereas if I could get rid of the PS4 account and just stick to the PC account, and then I could play with Xbox players as well, which would be absolutely awesome. The main reason why I actually play PS4 is because you guys, that's the only reason, because you guys, you subscribers, like to play with me, and that's the main reason why I play on PS4. Otherwise, I probably would just stick to the PC, but as I said, with a bit of luck, hopefully one day they might change it to to cross platform so everyone can play with every, everyone which would be awesome because then instead of me just playing with steam players and ps4 it means it gives the xbox players a chance i did think about it before about starting a new xbox account but um <laughs> it's kind of hard because of course i'm already running two accounts as it is and i do spend an insane amount of money on this game like i, I at this point i know it's into the thousands how much i can actually tell you uh I have started this game four times from the very beginning as well. So, um, including the money that I've spent on those other accounts, which I ended up forgetting the password, so I couldn't get back in. And then the other one, I forgot the email, I couldn't get back in. And yeah, so uh, I've in total, I've started four new accounts. And I've loved, I've loved this game from the very beginning right up till now. Of course, the Congo River is definitely an awesome update. I love that lake. Very good place to earn some serious money and again we've shown all hot spots and completed all the missions in that lake as well there it is level 73 <clears throat> it's a little bit freezy on uh, ps4 which um is something that i don't really miss when i'm playing on pc if i'm honest on pc it runs an insanely lot smoother and of course the picture quality looks that little bit better but um yeah, I decided to come back to the PS4. I kind of left it alone for a little bit. I didn't level up for a while on PS4, and that was because there were so many game bugs. It kind of stressed me out big time. So I stayed away from it, and I kept getting so many messages on different YouTube videos, even videos that weren't Fishing Planet, saying that the community of PS4 miss you. Please come back. So here I am. Level 74, there it is. <clears throat> so yeah, the community misses me, so uh, I thought I'd come back in and... Uh, yeah, play a little bit. Now I am level 75. Of course, I am going to be on the grind, but at the same time, uh, I probably am going to be making a live stream very soon again, but this time obviously fishing on PS4 because every time I do a live stream, it is most of the time on PC. I like to do it on PS4 every now and again, just so that way other people, other subscribers like it when they're on their, on YouTube and they can see their name highlight or you can see them fishing. They, they, they kind of like that. So yeah, I will be doing a live stream at some point. I'm not quite sure when because my schedule is very, very busy making lots of new content this year alone, um, even though we're very early in the year. But this year alone, I've got so much new content. I've got so many new things to bring to the channel. I'm quite excited, actually. I'm waiting for a delivery to turn up, which should be here next week. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be lots and lots of new content. But don't worry, even though I'm putting out lots of other new content of different games and different things, don't worry, Fishing Planet is always my priority. When the updates come, I'll always let you know. Or when they're coming, or they're talking about a new map. Again, I will always let you know all of the good info. All that juicy gossip. <laughs> as long as you're subscribed and the bell is hit on all, you will never ever miss any update on Fishing Planet. So this one, I brought the uh, newer, stronger bottom rod. As I said, it's not the very, very 
best bottom rod, but it's um, this rod. You can buy this rod when you hit level 74. So that's what I did. I brought this rod when I hit level 74 just to try and help me out a little bit to try and reel these arrow primer in that little bit quicker. And it does definitely make a difference. This rod is an 81.6 pound in max line weight. So yeah, you can definitely put a little bit more pressure onto that fish. So always make sure you use barbless hooks. And if you are able to buy a premium, definitely do do that. And if you're ever fishing and it's at a slow pace, don't waste time. Jump to the next day. Don't worry about it. Just jump straight to the next day. Time is money. Time is XP. Time is very important on this game. Don't waste time waiting too long for a fish. There it is. £364. My new Ara Pima on PS4 is nearly £400 now. I didn't even realise they went up to that big. But anyway, there it is. Level 75. Congo River. Here we come for sure. So I'm going to show you this rod set up and it is max dragged again. It's not the very best bottom rod, but it is the second best bottom rod on the game as of now. Um, so if you're interested, check it out. Buy the same. Always use the same hook, same bait and same location. Hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope it helped you out in some sort of way. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.